Hello students of grade 11 applied maths. Today we will introduce the chapter logarithms. This you are going to do for the first time. See, this is very important in the sense that when you are going to find the power of a bigger number or bigger fraction, suppose uh, 4 power half we can find easily because uh, square root of 4 is 2, we can get it. Or cube root of 8 is but if the power is very big like power 8 power 16 if if give or power 100 uh, in fraction okay suppose you're going to find 4 power 100 you cannot do in the calculator also so what you have to do is that you can do this easily if you know logarithms clear so what is logarithm I'll just explain the definitions of logarithm. If a power x is n, then the condition of n is n is a positive number but not equal to 1. It can be any 2 or more. So if a power x is equal to n, then x, this x, this x is called the logarithm of n to the best a. And we write as x equal to log a n this a is base okay so this can be written as if the exponent is given like that then x is called logarithm of n with base a this is the definition okay so in short we can say that if a power x is n then log n with base a is x the exponent comes separate okay for example if 2 cube is 8, we know that, then in log form will be log 8 with base 2 will be 3. Clear? So, 3 is logarithm of 8 with base 2. Now, logarithm, we can do the conversion, okay? From here to here is exponential to, for example, 2 cube equal to 8. To convert into log form, we have to write log. 8 with base 2 equal to 3 or another example uh, 3 3 square equal to 9 so we can write log 9 with base 3 is 2 so this form is called from exponential to logarithm form conversion of exponential form to logarithm form so similarly we go vice versa if they have given something we can use for negative also okay suppose they have given 0 0.001 which is 10 power minus 3 so we can write log 0 0.001 with base 10 is minus 3 let's give an example of another not another example let's do when we convert from logarithm to exponential form suppose they have given in log form how to convert into exponential form so log suppose they have given base 3 so how to convert in exponential form or oh, is equal to 5 they have given like that then we'll write Three power five is equal to two forty three. This is base, and this become power. Okay, three power five is equal to two forty three. This goes for a negative number also. If it is given log base six one by thirty six equal to minus two, so while writing, you can write six negative one equal to one by thirty six. So not negative one negative 2 okay this become power okay exponent so this is how we uh, convert from logarithm to exponential form and this part is from exponential to logarithm form let's no, know some property before doing the exercise logarithm of 1 to any base is 0 that means if I do log 1 it will be always 0 Base can be A, B, C, anything. Log 
8 1 also will be 0 log base 10 1 also will be 0 so logarithm to any base is always 0 okay next is logarithm of any number to the same base suppose we're finding log a with a will be 1 if we're finding log 25 with base 25 it will be always 1 if the base and the power is same it will be always 1 okay the logarithm of any number to the same base is any number to the same is always same base is always 1 log 10 10 will be 1 like that next is logarithm of 0 to any base greater than 1 so logarithm of 0 any base greater than 1 it can be 2 3 4 anything it will be always infinity but negative it can be log a 0 equal to minus infinity but a must not be equal to 1 okay or we can say a must be greater than 1 logarithm of any infinite larger number to a base greater than 1 is inf infinity it means log of infinity is always infinity it can be any base but it must be greater than 1 or we can write log 5 infinity also will be infinity keep on going like that okay log 100 infinity also will be infinity best must be more than 1 so you can write uh, pause the video and write all the importance for point of logarithm thank you